In this video, we are going to become the strongest Marine Admirals inside of King Legacy. And to do that, we are going to awaken all of the fruits that the Admirals in One Piece use. All the ones that have awakenings, of course. And we would also be collecting accessories in this video for these characters and also swords. But I already technically have all the items in the game, minus a few of the super, super rare ones like the Crustacean Armor. But either way, if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe it is free and it does help out the channel but let's go ahead and get started because i have spent a long time saving up fruits for this video that new fruit requirement is so annoying i wish i could just fight bosses instead okay let's do this so essentially what we're doing is i've already collected most of the items in the game i've made not a whole lot more progress i do now have the prestige dagger because i've made a decent amount of progress on the battle pass but no no progress on the other two drops they can actually get but what we're gonna be doing this video is i'm gonna be collecting a bunch more of the awakened fruits i already have awakened flame of course i have awakened dark which is also really good but we're gonna go ahead and awaken magma light and also ice and additionally gravity which i'm guessing we'll do gravity first because it's the easiest one i can do i have been collecting fruits i've been checking the stocks whatever so i have a decent amount of magmas i have almost enough lights that i'm missing a lot of the ices i'm gonna have to do a lot of trading to get the rest of these but for now i want to go ahead and i want to awaken the gravity fruit i also have just enough gems for this too so let's go ahead and equip one of these and eat it so there we go now we have the gravity fruits four abilities floor which has a pretty nice little range it's not too bad meteor which is i can select where i wanted to go rock fly which is okay this is my fly and then meteor rain which is another little close range one honestly not too bad this fly is actually kind of cool too wait does it copy the material that i do it off of i want to test that real quick if i do it on grass let's say yeah it copies the material i was on okay that's kind of cool well let's go ahead i want to activate that i need seven fruit dang it i can need one more let me go ahead and put all these in real quick. This is also a really good fruit to have in general because apparently it's really good for hard raids. I keep saying... I keep seeing people say it's really good for it. Yeah, okay, thank you to this guy. He just gave me one more. Well, there we go. Okay, first fruit has been maxed out. Thank you to the best noob for giving me one. So let's go ahead and awaken these up. We have five abilities. I do have the gems for this one. This is the cheapest one in this video. So there we go. But now we have five abilities. We have pressure. Okay, that's actually really cool. That's a really big one. I like that. And then we have meteorite, which I think is just a bigger version. That's a little flame, flame effect too. Gravity rock. Okay, it's an upgraded version to the fly. This one's way better. Actually, wait a second. There's something we're missing here. Okay, there we go. Now we look at the parts. There is also, I have the, um, where's it at? Yeah, I have the Ponder Blade, which is his sword. And then I could use the cape, but like, it's not that good. The stats aren't good, so I'm gonna keep using the Tomo Rings. Let's see, we have two more abilities. We have the Meteorite, the V1. I see why people like this ability. That was pretty good. Pretty good amount of damage, too. It only really hit in front of me, though. And then we have our last ability. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is going to be really good for like the boss fight. So yeah, if you want a really good, um, definitely the one you want to do. It's kind of annoying to get all seven of those fruits if you don't have a high maximum, which is just which does cost Robux. But yeah, that's actually really worth it. I might actually do some raids in a little bit with this fruit just to check it out. And just to see, I, I, I'm pretty sure I could do this and then pulverize. Yeah, it keeps them trapped there. 35,000 damage for those two. Not too bad. And then these are just really big AOE ones. The V and B. Yeah, that's really nice. I like this fruit a lot. I might, I might actually use this fruit a bunch on my own. And then, of course, we have the blade, which I need to get used to using because it's a little weird to use. But hey, that isn't too bad. How much is the permanent on this? I own permanent flame. I've bought that between videos. So that way I can like do this one because I really like using flame. It does so much damage. But I'm legitimately curious. How much is the permanent? I might, I might actually buy that permanent. Let's see. That's, oh, that's expensive. Probably because it's really good. Even gum's not that much. But yes, the eye of permanent flame. That, that's more than gas. And way more than ice. Jeez, okay, ice must be really bad if it's that cheap. But either way, there we go. That's another fruit off of the list of awakened fruits. I'm gonna end up spending the rest of my money this video, I have a feeling. Before we actually go ahead and awaken the next one, let me go ahead and unlock permanent battle pass so that way I can buy permanents without worrying about my Robux amount because I can't buy any Robux today. Like, let's see, what do we get from doing that? Okay, we get, we get some basic fruits. Hopefully we get like a, gra a gravity fruit so I can swap back easily. Some epic fruits, a lot of money and gems, traveler's hats, materials, more materials, straw helmet. There we go. Um, the belt, crown of the sea, which I wonder if that's gonna give me water immunity. That'd be nice if it does. And then we get another sword. I've never used that sword, a legendary fruit, and also the nightcap. I waited till I was level 50 so I can get the nightcap, but there we go. 
bunch of fruits. Oh, we got the worst legendary one for me to get. I would prefer dragon. See, the reason why I'd prefer dragon is because I have seven phoenixes now and two dragons. But we got, oh, so we got this one. There's a quake fruit. That's great. We got a rumble. That's nice. We got a wolf, which is this, whatever. And then I leopard. But also a bunch of fruits there. We got a bunch of materials too. We got dragon scales, a lucidus totem, you. An essence of fire, which is fine. And then more iron. Oh yeah, by the way, look how many carrots I have. Like I haven't been doing a lot of trading. I've just been AFKing overnight while playing other games. Like, cause I've only been really doing my daily. So I've maxed out my carrots recently. I just traded for a seeking fin before the video. So I'm a little lower, but let's see. Nightcap, reduce all damage by 20% and 5% fruit damage. That's really good. Okay, no water immunity. That, that's not too bad. 15% sword damage. Why the 1% health? That seems kind of pointless, not gonna lie. That's so low. And then we also got the blade. This is all really old stuff. This has been out for months, but it's new for me. Oh, wait. That's pretty cool. I like that one. That is a very, very nice attack. Oh, we also got the agent sword recently too, which is nice. It has a little thrust, then a little life shield, which I think blocks hits. Oh, you also have the traveler's hat. 2% reduced damage. It's not too bad, but like the fact that you have to pay for it, it is so far down the line. It's so not, no one ever is going to use it. But yeah, we have 15 more ranks to go. We have a few more things we can get from this too. We can get Law's hat. We can get a stealth cape, which I think that, is that Luffy's cape from when he was Lucy? Then this sword people are really wanting, so it must be good. And then Empress Kimono. But let's see, the next fruit we're going to do, who should we do next? I can do magma right now. Well, let's go ahead and do a magma. And we can't forget that we have to look really angry for this one. I'm also going to match the hockey color because I actually had a perfect hockey color for Fujitora. There you go. Now we look appropriately angry and also very bunny-like. But equip a magma fruit. Eat that. I've actually used this before in a previous video. I think it was my second video on the game. I'm not too sure. But magma fist. 9,000 damage. Not too bad. Magma hound. Which is basically the exact same thing. Magma floor. Which is a little close AoE. Then magma meteor. Which isn't too bad, but the fact that it stuns you is kind of annoying. Lots of burn damage, though. Then we have Magma Fly, which is like one of the worst flies in the game. At least out of the ones I've used. That, that, that is horrible. I mean, I'd fly over to the shop, but it's so slow that it's actually faster just to dash. So let's see. In order to do this one, okay, we only need six. That's perfect. I have six. So there's one, two, three, four, five and six there we go now we can go ahead and awaken the magma this one is actually quite expensive gem wise but let's go ahead and awaken all of those there we go awakened magma so we have the z ability i'll go ahead and fight this enemy because that guy's also testing so we have the z ability which is really weird oh i pressed the on accident that was cool though that's my e ability okay my z ability is weird how it targets not too big of a fan of that punches what did that do? I am so confused on what that did. One second. Back up really far and do it. That's also really weird. It's like, does it go where I target? Yeah, it goes where I aim with my mouse. I was, I was aiming too far. But that one just doesn't go at all where you aim. Like, I don't like the Z. I do like the X. Okay, magma eruptions. Oh, that's cool. He's the magma hand. Not too bad. That's pretty good. And then we have Annihilate. Hold V, nothing, let go. Okay, that is a way better version. I like that one. And the fly is really good too. It actually like launches a attack when I let it go. But it should let me fly around. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I like that one a lot. Okay, let me go ahead and unbind. Let me get rid of Z. Unequip that. I think I like Magma Fist more. Yeah, I like that more. The Z on Ma the, the upgraded Z does not, I don't like it. And just to check, if I go ahead and use X on you, wow, that's a lot of damage. 20,000 damage. If I go ahead and do this one, it's another 10,000 immediately. Yeah, 7, 000, almost 8,000 on the C and then Annihilate. I missed. I probably won't be using this fruit too much. The, the abilities are kind of weird. I will say the V on, this, on the Awakened is way better. How much damage does the X do on the non-Awakened? Is it better just to have it non-Awakened? Oh, yeah, it's so much better. It only does 10,000. Okay, the V's not too bad. I just have to click on the ground on my enemies. So, like, anybody in the air just kind of doesn't get hit by that. Okay, so literally the setup here is use everything but the Awakened Z. The Z is not good. I mean, what, what, I mean what's the damage if I do hit it? I mean, what's with the, what's with the aiming? I'm so confused. If I hold it, nothing. If I let go... Okay, now it actually wants to hit where I want it to go. 
I think I just need to learn how to use it. But that really is not that bad. That's a lot of damage really fast. But I think with these, I think with the weird hitboxes, like on the elephant, when you get close, that's where the problem happens. Yeah, because look at that. That's that's a lot of damage really fast. Not gonna lie, magma's actually really, really good. I just gotta learn how to use it. You can't be sloppy with your aiming, otherwise just otherwise stuff just misses. I think that's why I like flame more. But I do like Ace's fruit better, because he can be kind of sloppy with the attack. But honestly, not too bad. I like this one a lot. I'll, I'll keep buying magma fruit so that way I can use it whatever. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at this fly. This, this fly is actually really good. And perfect timing. I found a guy trading a light fruit. I'm definitely overpaying it for it. But, like, I can AFK all this stuff anyway. So there we go. Easy light fruit. I'm guessing this is just a good time. Let's just go ahead and eat it. I've never actually used this before, though. Z light bullet. Let go. Not too bad. 7,000 damage. Then we have light magnum. Oh, that's that's a rapid fire one. Let me do that one more time. Yeah, that's what I can do more than once. Not too bad. 10,000 damage on that, but it's slow. Light mirror. Nothing. Let go. 8,000. I like that one. And then light barrage. V hold. Another rapid fire. So this one has two miniguns. Oh, that's actually really cool if we have range to it. I like that one. Not a whole bunch of really good abilities, though, I would say. For constant damage, but it has a really good fly that I can't control the direction of? Like, whatsoever? Okay, I probably need to awaken it to get the good fly on it. You kind of just got to choose a direction and head that way. And yet again, we have to look at the part. And also, yet again, there is a cape. Where is it at? He had to loosen his coat. Which, the, the coat looks really, really good. It actually looks better than what I have normally on this on this avatar. Oh my god, I, I just look so grumpy. I love it. It's so good. But yet again, it's not that good. So I'm going to keep using Tomo rings. I like Tomo rings. And for the fun of it, yellow. And I mean, out of all the swords, um, I think Avalon makes the most sense. Also, I just want to say I love this guy's dedication to the color blue. I'm, I'm the same th I'm the same thing right here. I'm very dedicated to color yellow right now. So let's see. Okay, thank gosh, it's still six. Cool, let's do it. Let's awaken the light fruit now. I'm so glad I've been collecting these. I've been collecting since last video whenever I'm able to buy one. But only like twice a day because I haven't because I have not been playing. But there you go. There's all the abilities. It was also pretty expensive. This is the most expensive fruit we're doing this video. This video. But let's see. We have five abilities. We have speed of light, which I can actually control now. Yes. Uh, this is like the best fly in the game. I want to like this fruit because I see people using the fly and they just zoom right past me on the way to Sea Kings. But that was really cool. Let's see. What is our Z ability? If I hold it nothing i have a sniper rifle that's so cool if i let go of it 13,000 damage that's really cool then we have chaos beam yes this attack bro i'm getting jumped by a flame user right now bro i don't know how to use this fruit yet so they're just gonna jump me and kill me sounds good bounty hunters are cringe okay let's do, keep going so chaos beam is this, this attack i see people use that's actually really good Twenty-one thousand damage i like that you can do that one right after for 32,000. But let's see. Next one is God's Anger. Let go. What did that do? I don't even know what that did. Okay, let's, let's use that one more time. Let go of it. That's not too bad. I mean, it's mainly a single target. Let me, let me fly up real quick and do it again. Okay, that's what that one is. Okay. There's a little dash forward. It's just, it's just they were right next to me. Okay, let's see. Next one is Wrath of God. Okay, it's another little spam attack. That's actually really good. Yeah, I like that one. You do really have to hold it, though, is the problem. You have to hold this one, which lasts for a few seconds. Then you get to hold this one, which is the same situation. And then you can do the Z and, like, C right after. I mean, honestly, not too bad. I like this fruit. And it has, like, I think it has one of, if not the best movement in the game, speed-wise. I like this one a lot. Especially when comparing the movement to the Awakened Light and Blocks fruits. That one is so annoying to fly around with. But yes, very, very good fruit. You can actually do quite a bit of damage really fast if you can get someone to stand still. Look at that, 59,000 damage from one combo. So if you get all your stuff to hit, you can instantly kill somebody with just the fruit. I like it. But let's see, the last one we can do this video is the ice fruit, but I need to buy a bunch of them. I need to get five more. Okay, I'm gonna do some Discord trading for that. Okay, do a little bit of sidetrack because I'm doing trading right now. I know I definitely overpaid for the ice fruit now because I'm trading 567 gunpowder for two Seeking Fins. So there we go. I'm probably gonna be AFK gunpowder from now on because I have a bunch of carrots still. And gunpowder is apparently very profitable. A lot of people want it right now. Okay, here we go. Here's a trade I'm doing for two flames. 
for two ice fruits. It's kind of ironic I'm trading flame fruits right now, considering how long it took me to get the ones I needed. But there I go, from what I can tell, this is pretty fair. Two more ice fruits for the collection. We need three more now. Okay, another small trick. 800 gunpowder for two seeking fins, which is about fair. I think it's fair. Yeah, to get, I, I can keep AFK and gunpowder overnight. Not too bad though. 17 of these, one and three. We're doing really well. Okay, another small trade. 1,500 gunpowder, which I think is the overpay for the Hydra Tail. But for what I need, I could do more with Hydra Tail because I'm mainly trying to get items just to have these high tier items, but additionally, so I can try to trade for a crab armor. That's my main goal. Okay, here we go. Here's another trade. 800 more gunpowder. This is mainly gunpowder trading for two ice fruits. So we only need one more more now mainly just for the one we can equip i wonder i have 3,000 candy let's, let's do a little bit of rolling i'll use half of the candy i have which is 300 rolls and i'm mainly rolling see if we get an ice oh there's a light that would have been nice earlier i can probably trade the light if anything hey yeah, gravity food i can actually use that okay i'm gonna say no luck on that 1,000 carrots for the last ice fruit there we go easy so let's go ahead and eat one of them eat fruit now we're using ice fruit we even looked the part too which looks so good also i know i'm using the non-admiral version of him but in my defense like all of the hats for his admiral version aren't on sale anymore on roblox for some reason so i can only do this version of him but it still looks pretty good oh yeah also let's go ahead and do cyan or the closest thing to have to cyan awesome let's see we have five abilities ice pigeon that isn't too bad. 7,500 damage on everything that follows this path. Then we have Ice Barrage, which is the hold ability. 10,000 damage. Ice Spike, which is that attack. That's not too bad. And then Ice Floor, which is a little AoE around me attack. That's actually really good. A lot of really fast attacks. Then we have Ice Surf, which is the movement. It doesn't have a fly. It has a movement. Does it let us? Yes, we can walk on water. We can also stand on water too. Well, let's go ahead and level this fruit up. We need six and we have six. So there we go. First one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and six. There we go. Now we can go ahead and awaken the abilities. And now we have all the awakens that I want to do this video. Oh, and just so you know, the only Awakens I now do not have is Venom, Bomb, and Quake. Quake of which is, I think, the most expensive gem-wise. So those will have to wait because I'm now out of gems. Plus, we have five abilities. We have King Glacier, which is basically a bigger version of what it used to be. Then we have Ice Shard. That's not too bad. It also freezes the opponent. I think that, yeah, that one freezes it too. This one's pretty good for like locking your enemy in place. And probably that one first, then this one, then Ice Eruption. Oh, that's a really good one. And then we have V. Not too bad. 20,000 damage on that. Yeah, you can do a lot of damage if you wanted to. Ooh, a samurai badge. Awesome. I need those. And then Avis. New flying. It's very slow, though. It does have that additional thing, though, where it does deal damage if it hits your enemy. I mean, it's not that bad. Just after using light, it's really slow. This was probably good to freeze and then, like, do sword attacks with if you're able to. Yeah, guys, look at that. That's not too bad. And you can also, like, loop in these with it. Not too bad. But still, this one really isn't too bad whatsoever. I like this one a lot. This, that's probably my favorite ability. I like that one a lot. Honestly, all these Awakens are good. But if you're going to go for an Awakening, I would probably recommend go for Gravity. Mainly because that lets you do raids, which is a pretty important thing in this game. It's also good for Battle Pass and gems and all that. And definitely go for Flame. It's a very lazy ability to use, and you can do a lot of damage with it. Very big AoEs, too. That's my personal opinion. I'll probably end up using all of these at some points. But for right now, I know it's kind of a waste considering I just pay, I'm paying a bunch of money for these fruits. I'm just swapping back and forth between them a lot. But I have the Awakenings now, so I can go ahead and buy them from the shop whenever they're available. I'll stack up on all of them, especially for trading, because they're actually like all worth each other can find the person willing to do the trade but i want to go ahead let's activate a gravity fruit and i want to join some raid groups because apparently gravity is like one of the best ones for the raid specifically on hard mode let's do it gravity fruits and let's go ahead and find a party to run with okay i got a round of people that we all have awakened gravity and this is going to be interesting because i also had to unbind my awakened v because apparently at least for this, the unawakened V is better because it's more damage in a small location. I'm just curious how fast this will go. This will definitely be interesting because I am not used to fighting with this fruit. I did a little bit of practice on ability spamming, but this is definitely going to be interesting. 
I'm just curious how fast we can do it. Well, awesome. The first guy died in less than a minute. Oh my gosh. Look at the health. All of it's gone. This is, in this is interesting to say the least. And this boss can't even do anything because the pressure ability knocks him down for like a second. And we all have it. So this is like kind of busted. Okay, there we go. Void pull is dead. Took a minute and a half to kill him. Okay, that boss is dead in just under five minutes. Okay, there we go. Defeated that phase of the boss with eight minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. This is actually going really, really fast. Okay, there we go. Killed the guy on a second phase with 10 minutes. This is going so much faster. Now we just have the crab. Then look at this. I, we just got the first backwards movement thing. 11 minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, gravity's amazing. I legitimately have no idea why it's that good for this raid, but it is amazing.